Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maps primary video on multiplication. In this video, we're going to look at how to multiply numbers together by using the column method of multiplication. So let's have a look at some typical questions. So our first question is 42 multiplied by 3. So we write 42, the bigger number on the top, then times by 3, and a line beneath that. We start from the right-hand side, so we're going to do 3 times 2, and 3 times 2 is 6, so we put the 6 in the uh, box just beneath them, and then we do 3 times 4, and 3 times 4 is 12. Because 12 won't fit in one column, we're going to write it in 2s like this, 12, and that's it. So our answer is 126. Okay, our next question. Our next question is 26 multiplied by 6. So again, we write the bigger number on the top, 26 multiplied by 6, and put the line beneath it. Now we're going to do 6 times 6. Now 6 times 6 is 36, so we'll put our 6 down. Now because we're not finished, we're going to have to carry over the 3. Now there's three different places which I've seen teachers and students write the 3. Some people write it up here, some people write it down here. I like to put my 3 here whenever I'm carrying over. Um, it's just a little sort of number there on the line, just so I remember whenever I do my 6 times 2 that I have to add on this number. Okay, So it doesn't really matter where you carry it over as long as you remember. So. We've, so far, just to recap, we've done 6 times 6, which is 36. We've put the 6 down and we've carried the 3. We're now going to do 6 times 2. Now, 6 times 2 is 12, but we need to add 3 on. So 12 plus 3 is 15. So we write our 15 down. So our answer is 156. Okay, let's have another look at another question now. So the next question is 7 times 92. Again, let's write the bigger number on the top. So 92 multiplied by 7 and the line beneath it like so. So 7 times 2 is 14. So we put the 4 down and we need to carry the 1. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 1 is 64. So we write down 64, and our answer would be 644. And that's it. And just remember, when carrying over, you can carry it over in other positions, but this is just why I prefer to do it. Okay, next. Our next question is 284 multiplied by 7. So we're going to write down 284 times by 7. And again, put the line beneath it. 7 times 4 is 28, so we put the 8 down and we carry the 2. 7 times 8 is 56, plus 2 is 58, so we put the 8 down and carry the 5. And finally, 7 times 2 is 14, plus the 5 is 19, so our answer is 1,988. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Our next question is a two digit by two digit multiplication. So what we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna write the bigger number at the top, 18 times by 17, like so. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start from right to left again. So we're gonna do seven times eight, I mean seven times one. So we're gonna multiply 18 by seven, first of all. And then after that, we'll do 18 times by the 10, okay? So we'll start off with the seven, okay? So seven times eight is 56. So you put the six down and we carry the five. 7 times 1 is 7, plus the 5 is 12, so we're going to write down 12. So 7 times 18 is 126. Now we're going to do uh, 10 times 18. Now to do that, what you do is, because you've been moved over into the tens column, we put a 0 down here, and now we just do 1 times 8, and 1 times 8 is 8, so we put that down, and we do 1 times 1, which is 1. And that's it. So we've got these two numbers, now we just need to add them together. So we do 6 plus 0 is 6, 2 plus 8 is 10, so put the 0 down, carry the 1, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, so our answer is 306. So whenever we're doing a two-digit by two-digit multiplication, you start off by multiplying the number on the top by the number in the units column, so we multiply the 18 by the 7, and we just do that just like we've done the other one so far. Then we move over into the tens column, so we put a 0 down, and we just multiply the number on the top by the 1, okay, or whatever number's in the tens column, and we just write that down, and then we add up at the end. Let's have a look at another one. So our next question is 43 multiplied by 36. Again, write the biggest number on top, so 34, oh, sorry, 43 multiplied by 36. And put the line beneath it. Okay, so we're gonna multiply both these numbers by six, or sorry, both these digits by six, so 43, we're gonna times that by six, and then we're gonna times 43 by 30. So let's times it by six. Six times three is 18, so put the eight down, and carry the one. And 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So we write that down. So if we times 43 by 6, we get 258. Now we're going to times it by 30. So put the 0 down first of all. And now we're just going to multiply both the 4 and the 3 by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. So we put that down. And 3 times 4 is 12. So we put that down. So if we times 43 by 30, we get 1290. And now we just add them together. 
So 8 plus 0 is 8. 5 plus 9 is 14. Put the 4 down, carry the 1. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and then 1. So the answer would be 1,548. Let's have a look at one last question. Our last question is 157 multiplied by 24. So again, let's write the biggest number on the top. So 157 times by 24. And again, put the line beneath it. So we're going to times the 157 by 4, and then the 157 by 20, and add them up. So 4 times 7 is 28. Put the 8 down, carry the 2. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. So put the 2 down, carry the 2. And 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So that's 628. Now we're going to do the 157 multiplied by 20. So first of all, put the 0 down here. And we're going to do 2 times 7, which is 14. Put the 4 down, carry the 1. Now to carry the 1, I'm just going to put the line beneath here. Uh, just so that whenever I'm carrying over, I can see where I'm carrying over. So 2 times 7 was 14. Put the 4 down, carry the 1. 2 times 5 is equal to 10, plus 1 is 11, so put the 1 down, carry the 1. And 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So the answer to 157 times by 20 is 3,140. Now I just need to add these t uh, numbers together. So um, 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, and that's just 3. So the answer is 3,768, and that's it.